We're talking of home, which is Berlin in your case. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you tr truly seem at home in mainland, mainland Europe. Yeah, I love it, yeah. Yeah, do you, so do you feel any difference in how your live shows are received compared with back in the UK? Uh, it's kind of the it's it's kind of the same, but um, as a band, we kind of made a decision in the early days um, to go for Europe more than the UK, only because the UK is so unbelievably busy. Um, so it's a real fight for if you want to book a tour, just finding the dates available for you. It's really, it's just such a busy market. Every rock band, every folk band, every alt band, every singer songwriter, every electronic band, everyone is in the market. And um, we had a, we we got big in France on like the first single that we put out in 2005. So we, rather than <clears throat> like do 50 date tours of the UK like all of our friends, we'd do. Um, 20 dates in France and because we were already in Europe let's go to Belgium let's do a bit of Germany let's go down to like Italy if we're going to play to 250 people let's do it in Rome instead of somewhere in the UK you know and so we kind of invested in Europe more than the UK so um, on the on a touring level we, we view the UK like any other European country like right. like Norway you know we play in Oslo for example, we don't do eight gigs in Norway. Yeah. We do Oslo, and then we do Helsinki, then we do Stockholm, then we do Copenhagen, and then we're out of there. And in the UK, it's the same thing. We'll go in, we'll do London, and then we'll do Paris, and we'll do Amsterdam. Just because a lot of our friends play in the UK a lot, and if you just stick in the if you just stick in one country and really just go for one country, you kind of don't get everywhere else. And. Um, yeah, the fans are the same in the UK as they are everywhere else. They're really awesome, and, and we do we have good shows and good times. But <clears throat> I guess we made that decision early that we wanted Europe. Yeah. You know. So, so do you speak any German then? Not yet. No. Not no, yet. No. Oh, you should pick up some words. I, I'm never there. <laughs> you know, I've honestly been on the bus more than I've been in my apartment in in Berlin oh, yeah. in the past year. But. It's lovely to have somewhere to go home to that you love, and I really, really love um, Berlin. Yeah. It's a really cool place, cool. and I, I do feel very, I do feel more European than um, English. You know, I do, and, I, and because we are all the same. Actually, we just have different accents, you know. But um, yeah, Europe's fascinating, and, and weirdly enough, over the past twenty years, it's just become more. Uh, the same, like everywhere really, it's just become globalised a little bit. So, like maybe 25 years ago, the difference between sort of Vienna and Berlin was like really extreme, but now it's different, but it, the whole of Europe's become more... The, having no borders has really made it all just kind of all Europe now, you know, so, yeah, I love it.